Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to give an overview of Ready API and talk through some of the main benefits of using Ready API for your API testing. The Ready API platform is a desktop application which contains three main modules, which provides users with the ability to create, maintain, and run functional tests, security tests, and also performance tests while also providing users with the ability to create and maintain virtual services as well. The first module that we're gonna look at is Ready API Test, which is the functional and security testing tool that will allow users to easily create complex end-to-end -end API testing workflows in a low code environment. Ready API also supports multi-protocol testing, automated test execution, and easy analysis of test results. Once the functional tests have been created, they can be reused and we can spin up some performance tests in the performance module. This will allow us to see how the API performs with an increased load. The last module here in the Ready API platform is Ready API Virtualization. Here we can spin up a virtual instance of an API that can be used for testing purposes. If an API is maybe still in development, or even if an API may not always be available. We can use the virtual API and plug that into our testing workflows. Okay, so now that we've had an overview of the Ready API platform, we can now look at some of the main functionality in Ready API, which allows users to build out end-to-end -end API testing workflows for execution in CI CD pipelines. One of the first steps here in creating an automated testing workflow is the ability to create a data-driven test. Now, this will allow us to move from entering in request values manually to pulling in a larger data set for our requests from maybe an Excel spreadsheet or a database or other file types, and we can loop through that data very, very quickly. Once we have our data-driven test set up, we can then pass values between different test steps very easily in Ready API allowing us to chain together the steps and create that end-to-end -end workflow. This can be done by using the get data functionality, which will build out an expression for us and allow us to pass the values between the different steps. The next step in creating our testing workflow is the ability to add assertions to validate whether our tests have passed or failed. We can add assertions for maybe status codes, response SLAs, or even if we want to check the specific data that we receive back from the response. We can add assertions in two ways, either from the assertion section at the bottom of the screen, or we can use the smart assertion, which will generate one large assertion, which can check multiple fields at once. Once we have our tests in place and we run them, we can then use the reporting functionality in Ready API to easily analyze whether the test jobs have passed or failed. We can generate reports in multiple formats, which include PDF, JUnit, Allure, and we can also export data in XML and CSV formats as well. The last step in creating our Ready API testing workflow is the ability to add multiple environments to our project. Environments will allow us to switch and test against different endpoints very quickly. And it'll also allow us to add different authentication profiles, proxy settings, and custom arguments for each environment. All of the functionality previously shown allows users to create complex end-to-end -end API testing workflows in a low-code environment that can then be incorporated into their CI CD pipelines for test automation. Thank you for watching.